A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit guys and today I'm going to show you a very fast and effective way of making um, uh, an auto advancing picture gallery guys without the use of action script at all. Let me start. Let me hit on the create new action script button guys. Guys as you can notice the library is completely empty so is the stage and so is layer number one. Right. Guys the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make this uh, uh, flash pro. I'm going to minimize it. Okay. Just underneath I have a folder and I have three pictures out there which I'm gonna use so I'm gonna select all the three pictures guys and I'm gonna drop it on the minimize icon of flash the moment I do that guys flash automatically opens I'm gonna leave all the three pictures on the stage cool alright then I'll press control enter on my keyboard guys making sure that I select all the three pictures together even if you know have a uh, you know look in the library guys all the three pictures have been imported automatically uh, simultaneously together right so I just press control enter on my keyboard making sure that all the three pictures which are actually stacked on top of each other guys it's a stack let me show it to you see all right so I'm gonna press control a making sure that I select all the three pictures I'm gonna right click I'm gonna say distribute to layers the moment I say that guys you should notice that all the three pictures uh, nature one two and three they shift themselves to different layers leaving layer number one empty I'm gonna select layer number one I'm gonna hit the delete button okay now all the three pictures are contained on their own timeline guys cool I'm gonna lock uh, picture number uh, two and one guys leaving uh, nature3.jpg for me to work upon I'm gonna say right click I'm gonna say create motion tween I'll get a warning which I'll ignore I'm gonna say okay flash automatically converts the picture to a movie clip guys and gives me these 24 frames I'm gonna extend these 24 frames to 48 frames guys 48 that's it okay and uh, actually if I uh, scrub the timeline nothing has happened so far I'm gonna leave my playhead on frame number 24 guys I'm gonna select the first picture go to properties and go to alpha and I'm gonna make sure that the alpha is a complete hundred I'm gonna take the playhead onto the very first frame guys select the picture I'll make sure that the alpha is a 50 guys cool so guys through frame number 1 and 24 I have the fade in effect after which I have no difference to the alpha strictly speaking it's not a motion tween guys it's actually an alpha tween there's nothing like an alpha tween strictly speaking that that word has been manufactured by me alright there's nothing like uh, alpha tween and flash strictly speaking alright so guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click anywhere between uh, frame number one and frame number 48 I'm gonna right click I'm gonna say copy motion then I'm gonna lock the layer I'm gonna make it invisible I'm gonna open up layer number two unlock it alright make it visible as well I'm gonna right click I'm gonna say paste motion guys I'll get a message which I'm gonna pretty much ignore I'm gonna say okay and guys the same alpha tween effect that was on uh, nature 3 picture gets passed on to nature 2 picture as well I'm gonna open up the last layer the bottom layer alright I'm gonna lock the second layer up and uh, for the third picture I'm gonna right click I'm gonna say paste motion where is paste motion heritage I'm gonna ignore the warning and guys what has happened now is all the three pictures have the same alpha tween same fade in effect very very cool now guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the very first layer the top layer I'm gonna click on the first frame I'm gonna drag the timeline leave it out here on frame number 49 for the second layer the middle layer guys I'm gonna click on the very first uh, frame I'm gonna draw you know I'm gonna drag the timeline and drop it at frame number 96 all right and guys my gallery is complete basically I'm making sure that uh, the three uh, movie clip symbols do not overlap and guys if I scrub the timeline now you can see that I get a nice fade in effect I'm gonna hit control enter on my keyboard to test and uh, the picture gallery without using action script should be ready okay so for the three pictures the total time spent is six seconds the first second is spent in fading in the second uh, second or the second half or the latter half is spent in just making the viewer see the picture without any change in the alpha or the transparency alright guys I hope you like this tutorial you have a nice day I'll see you very soon bye bye peace